Uh, so hello, dear listeners, for those who uh, decided to know more about also migration rights in Lithuania. And uh, today we're holding the second workshop for uh, migration-related topics. And uh, we have an amazing speaker, uh, the one you maybe uh, can know from the previous workshop. And if you haven't seen that yet, so also check the previous uh, video. Uh, and uh, yeah, so the topic for today is the residency for third country nationals uh, who are family members of uh, Lithuanian citizens. And uh, there is also one condition that uh, the citizen, Lithuanian one, uh, supposed to use a free movement. Uh, but uh, for sure, I won't stop uh, much on it, and uh, I'm not an expert here, but uh, our uh, migration specialist, Teresa, will uh, explain us to it. So, but uh, first of all, let me please uh, also introduce you how we will work. Uh, so, uh, what is actually the plan for today? So, yes, a uh, uh, small introduction from me is uh, also necessary uh, to uh, actually introduce you International House of Vilnius, who is an organizer of the workshop. And uh, also uh, I will uh, tell more how we can be useful, what services we have. But uh, the most important thing is that all the services are uh, free of charge for uh, anyone in Vilnius and in other cities as well. And um, yes, after you'll get more, uh, get known more about International House of Wellness, we'll have time for uh, the speaker to present the topic. And uh, then we will sure have some time for uh, question and answer. Yes, as promised, uh, just a couple of minutes for uh, introducing International House of Wellness. So uh, first of all, uh, the mission of uh, International House of Wellness is a soft landing of uh, all international talents who decided to relocate to Vilnius, start a new life, uh, maybe also married to a citizen. Uh, what is the topic for today? So uh, yes, so the key word is the soft landing. So uh, how are we doing that? Uh, there is uh, two main missions we have. It first is institutional. So under uh, one roof in International House Wellness Office, you'll see the address soon on the next slide. Um, in uh, one office, we have uh, different uh, institutions uh, gathering together and uh, providing consultations and services free of charge as well in uh, English, uh, but also in Russian language. So there is no any language barrier for you, but also you can see what kind of um, institutions we have in-house and uh, what kind of services and requests you can also uh, address to them. Uh, for sure, if you have uh, questions related not only to these institutions, you can also uh, come by and uh, ask. And so we'll uh, gladly help you because we are experienced in um, different matters as well. Uh, but uh, as I told you, uh, the institutions is not the, the only thing that um, we try to soft plant you with, uh, but also uh, the second mission is like integration. So uh, all what is needed for your better integration um, workshops like this, where we providing uh, the practical information, also um, events and community buildings uh, once. Uh, and by the way, stay tuned, we will open the register registration for the Christmas one. Um, really soon. Also practical excursions, uh, individual presentations we have needed for some students, companies, um, you know, the teams who's relocating to Vilnius. So also you, you should know that uh, you can address this, uh, the same request. Um, the guys and everything you can see on the slide. Uh, so uh, uh, for sure, all the events, uh, please uh, check them on the website. Uh, it's uh, International House Wilmos website. Just Google it and then uh, uh, you'll see in under about, uh, there is uh, all kind of events that's happening and already happened with the links uh, to all the recordings or uh, just the photos. So, um, yes. Um, we have a uh, social media and of those we um, also posting uh, uh, some uh, useful information, some articles for uh, you and as well some videos and uh, just uh, sharing uh, uh, what uh, what we're doing for you and also uh, always glad to, to hear from, from you as well what is needed more. Um, so yes, yeah, so that was my really short intro. You can also see the 
um, contact and uh, if you'd like to meet um, to have a consultation with uh, any of institutions we have in uh, in house uh, so you can also go to the website uh, press uh, click on the schedule a meeting and then you'll see the list of all the institutions and you'll uh, be able to choose a, a time slot and a day and uh, then on specific time uh, come by and um, yeah and to consult so um and uh, last but not least uh, the main piece of information for those who joined us uh, today online uh, so um, please uh, you check your uh, zoom and uh, you'll see that there is a Q&A and there is a chat. So if you'd like to ask us a question, so please uh, put it to Q&A and um, then uh, we'll see that it is a question and uh, it gives an a possibility to answer you maybe even later with a more um, you know, broader answer if it's needed for sure. But if you'd like just to express your opinions, you know, to share the experience, uh, you can also use the chat uh, and uh, we'll be glad we um, to to see any feedback from you, and uh, I am the moderator of workshop, so I will uh, take care that uh, we see all the questions and comments. So that was a small intro, but uh, let me please also now start uh, um, then the presentation, the main one, and uh, to to move actually the laptop and the screen to the speaker, uh, so uh, you could uh, know more about the topic today. So yeah, Teresa, the floor is yours. Uh, hello, I am Teresa. I am a specialist of immigration department and I will present for you today a topic um, a temporary residence card for a family member of an EU citizen. So who can get this card? So if you are non-EU citizen but you are a family member of EU citizen who has the right to reside in Lithuania, or you are a family member of Lithuanian citizen uh, who has used the right to free movement in EU member state, uh, and you are coming to him or to with him, so you can apply to issue a residence card. Uh, a citizen of the Finian Republic who has used the right to free movement uh, of person under EU law is considered as EU citizen in our laws. And let's start. Uh, uh, yeah, sorry for interrupting. I'd like to make sure that uh, because uh, I see that uh, um, still it's not the presentation what is needed, just to double check. Mm -hmm. Uh, sure. Okay. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. And what documents uh, should I submit? It's very often a question of foreigner who came to Lithuania. So, uh, first of all, you must fill in the application form via MIGR system. Uh, after a few minutes, I will show for you which form you should choose in our immigrants website. And you have to upload the documents which are listed below. So your valid travel document, passport, a document confirming your legal stay in, in the Republic of Lithuania. It can be issued, maybe have issued any residence permit in EU member states. Maybe you have a visa and documents certifying the basis to issue for you a residence card. Uh, it will be marriage certificate. It can be registered partnership agreement. Uh, a document certifying that you are the direct descendants of an EU citizen or his or her spouse. It birth certificate. Uh, you can, the child can a child can apply till twenty one years old, and a document confirming the family connection. If you are a parent or grandparent of an EU citizen, his spouse or person with whom we have signed registered partnership agreement. Uh, if you are a parent or grandparent, you have to provide for us 
the documents proving your family connection. For example, if you're a grandparent, you have to provide birth certificate, your own birth certificate, the certificate of your parents, because you know, we must see from the documents that you are family. If uh, your family member's um, surname was changed, you have to provide those documents as well. And next, um, document confirming that you need daily care due to the medical reasons of uh, the EU citizen who has right to live in Lithuania, who has right to reside in Lithuania. Uh, so it can be any certificates uh, from medical institutions. Uh, if you come to EU citizen who has a right to, re to reside in Lithuania and you are dependent financially, uh, documents proving uh, that uh, you are supported by your family member, it can be bank statements, any explanations, any other receipts, for example, maybe a family member was paying for your any medical issues and so on. Any documents to prove that you were supported by your family member. Um, if uh, you don't register any partnership agreement and you don't have marriage yet, but you are living together for three last years, you have to apply as well. You have to, pres to present for us the documents to prove that you are living together. It can be birth certificates of your children, any lease contracts, or any other documents in your opinion will prove your family connection. Um, and uh, the most important document, if you are a uh, family member of Lithuanian citizen, is the document proving that Lithuanian citizen used the right to free movement in EU. Uh, you can submit for us many employment contracts, do documents certifying studies, completed business trips, uh, lease contracts, or any other documents uh, to prove living place address abroad. It's very important to note that if you are coming to Lithuanian citizen, uh, you must prove by the documents that your family relationship started when Lithuanian citizen was using the right to free movement. Uh, it can be registered, maybe you registered uh, marriage in foreign state, it will be a proof that you became a family abroad. Uh, maybe you were living together. Maybe you have any registration documents, any registration of your place of residence abroad. Maybe you have any residence permits where would be indicated your address. Maybe you have any other documents, any cards, for example, driving license. In these documents, uh, usually is indicated address, which is from my experience. So it will be a great proof of your living place together. And any other document, in your opinion, will prove your family connection. Um, who has uh, to save the right of family member card? Sometimes uh, can be in your life you know, every a lot of situations. Uh, it can be divorce. Uh, it can be maybe EU citizen decided to leave Lithuania or you decided to stay. Uh, maybe you are taking care of EU member state citizen child. Uh, so here is a list of the situations when you. Can, uh, when you can to save to keep the status of family member. Uh, next. And most of you can ask how to fill in the form of application. Now I'm going to present which form of uh, application in our system you have to choose. Uh, our website migratia.lt. Next, you should choose for foreigners. 
and you have to indicate your citizenship. For example, United Kingdom, yes. Next, uh, you should choose that you, I use the right to free movement within the EU. Next, I want to receive a temporary residence card for a family member of an EU citizen. And the next form, I am a family member of EU citizen uh, who has the right to reside in Lithuania or a family member of Lithuanian citizen who use the right to movement. And I am joining him. Uh, next, the, for, the MIGRA system will let to complete for your application. You have to complete it to add all documents required by current legal acts. And next, you should schedule it. And what I would like to note, the most important things now. Uh, so, if uh, you are coming to the Fenian citizen, and uh, your marriage was registered at foreign state, by current legal acts, Lithuanian citizen has to register his marriage in Lithuania. You have to apply to the civil registry office uh, to register your marriage, and only after that we will be able to, to accept application. Uh, next um, requirement for Lithuanian citizen that he or she has to be declared in Lithuania. So if Lithuanian citizen is coming back to Lithuania, he has to register his so-called living place again. We must to see from the, we must see from the documents from our systems that you are coming back to Lithuania. And document which documents which were uploaded, which was uploaded to the migrant system, has to be presented original, not a copies, not printed out from your email. If the document assigned by digital, by qualified digital signature. The documents can be enclosed as PDF files. In this case, we will not need it in paper. And if you have a document proving your family connection issued from in foreign countries, they have to be legalized. From EU member states, we will not need this. Uh, so as you can see, we, we have an exceptions from Ukraine, Russia, or Moldova, will not need as well. And um, if you, are, you have a document, for example, from Turkey, you have to legalize it by apostyle. It's very important because in this case, we will not be able, in another case, we will not be able to accept the documents. And about the translation, uh, documents uh, issued abroad must be translated to Lithuanian language and certified by interpreter. You can apply to any translation agency to make a translation and the translation must be, must be presented original as well during the visit. Uh, if a document confirming marriage, divorce, divorce death, uh, birth certificates, uh, with, so such documents can be presented in English language. We will not need the translation. And if you will need any additional information, you can contact us for the General Information Center. You can write an email, you can call, in which way would be better for you. So you can see our contacts now. And that's it for, to, so for now. Thank you for your attention. And I wait, I'm waiting for your questions. Uh, so yes, thank you very much. I also will uh, jump in uh, then. And uh, yes, uh, I'd like you please to elaborate a bit because we've had uh, a question in the registration form, uh, which is, uh, you know, you mentioned a family card and a residence. So it's the same, right? So the family card is a yeah. resident type uh, temporary residence permit. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, how does it work like uh, for 
how long is it issued? Like, let's say for mm -hmm. two years, five years, mm -hmm. what is there? A term for it. Uh, if you are a family member of Lithuanian citizen who has who have used the right to free movement, it will be issued for you for five years. If you are coming uh, to EU citizen, your residence card, uh, validity of your residence card will depend on your family's card. For example, mm -hmm. EU citizen have got a residence certificate for three years on basis that he or she was employed for a fixed term contract. So you will receive a card for the same period as your family member. Mm -hmm. And then is there a possibility to apply for a permanent uh, and then... Uh, yes, oh, after, five, after five years living in Lithuania with EU or Lithuanian citizen as family member, you can get a residence permit, permanent residence permit. And I would like to note that you will not need to pass any exams of Lithuanian language, of Constitution of Republic of Lithuania. Mm -hmm. only, only one thing that you are required to live in Lithuania for five years as family member of mm -hmm. EU citizen or of Lithuanian citizen. So, but, but usually if you apply for permanent, you should pass uh, yes? Then the yes, exam. usually yes. You, usually you should pass exams but if you have a family member card, you will not need it. So it means like uh, it's expected, yes, that yeah. you have many um, a family member, so you, somehow you communicate as well as the language. Yes, if you are a Lithuanian family member of Lithuanian citizen, yes, usually uh, like communicate. Yes, <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's uh, really great. And uh, does it somehow differ? I mean, is there any advantages, privileges to have a family card? I mean, uh, let's say uh, I'm a family member, right? Uh, and uh, um, I'm not working, but uh, do I have like social security or anything? Like maybe do you know, is there any advantages of having this family card for this specific residency? Uh, so if you have a family member card, uh, you can work and you can study. And if you will change, for example, if you will receive a uh, business permit on employment ground, as I know, you can, if you want to change your employer, you have to apply to the immigration department to get permission. If you have a family member card and you started to work, and if you would like to change your employer, you don't need this. You can just leave as a family member and you can do any activity you want in this area. Okay. You can do your personal activity, you can be self-employed, uh, you can get um, dual activity certificate from the state taxes inspectorate without any problems. Uh, you can study, you can get a job here in the area. But uh, like, do you have like this pre- on social security, like free health care, maybe, or you? I don't think so. So you still have. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, I see that we've got um, a question also from Anastasia. Remember, we spoke that a person with a family card does like don't need to pass an exam in constitution, and then in case that the same family member applied for citizenship, you also don't need to pass exam in constitution, or it's only for. Um, for this applying for permanent as a family. Each person for applying for permanent residence card as a family member. So for citizenship, in any case, you will need it, no. even if for permanent, you don't need it. So uh, still, you know, uh, then uh, it's more years, uh, you got uh, it's seven or something, right? If I'm not mistaken, uh, to get this. So you can learn the language until the time. Um, so yes. And um, yeah, there is uh, one more question that uh, we had in this registration. Like, how do you actually check that it's legit? I mean, as a, a documented bit, uh, you know, about marriage, what is this fake? Like, you know, there is this, uh, uh, you know, fake marriages just to get the residency or to get mm -hmm. citizenship. How do you check actually even like if it's like, really true or something mm -hmm. somehow? So... <laughs> Really, I don't know how it is uh, checked, but uh, how it is uh, doing, how our specialist is checking. Mm -hmm. But we have a separate branch, control branch. And yes, as I remember, 
from my experience, they they found so so foreigners. Faith, right? Yes, who, who concluded faith marriage. Yes. Wow. So they are checking. So it's not uh, specifically U.S. immigration no. specialist, but you have another branch yeah, who's doing this. Branch. Who is doing the control of such persons? Wow. So they like checking all the documents, checking if the people living together, something yeah. like that. Yeah. So they can invite you, say no, and to ask uh, general questions in, in separate rooms. Like, yes. Because do you like your wife or do you have kids? <laughs> yeah, I'm joking. But yeah, it is important as well. So. Uh, yeah, to, to be alleged, so please do not fake it. Uh, I'm just kidding, but uh, still. Um, I think that, uh, yes, for now, um, the only one question that uh, might be also relevant is just from my side, but is there any fee like to pay for applying for it? Yes, yes, you have to pay. It's 32 euros. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when it's like one time and for how long uh, then should you wait in order to get the family card? Um, to issue the card, which means to examine the application, to produce it, it takes still one month. Oh, so it's required to keep up. So it's really quickly. Yes. So uh, one month uh, to live with a partner and um, yes, so 32 euros. So seems really easy. Yes. Okay, so uh, you know it's a really long uh, basis, a bit of uh, confusing, but uh, that's so easy. So thank you very much for choosing it, you know, for us. You're welcome. So um, yeah, I'm not sure that we have um, any questions from audience. Uh, yes, but uh, I'm really happy that we've covered the topic. Uh, so for sure, uh, if you are um, joined us uh, live or you will watch uh, the video on YouTube, uh, then we will upload it. You can also drop some messages in the comment section and uh, for sure I will um, also ask uh, Teresa when it's, uh, yes, when we have it. Or um, as it was mentioned, right, uh, we can also contact the department and uh, yeah, write an email, it works, and um, then a consult. So uh, that would be it. Uh, we hope that uh, it was uh, clear and understandable. And uh, please also, uh, yes, uh, join uh, the next meeting we'll have next week as well and uh, ask a question if uh, needed. So thank you very much now and uh, see you somewhere else. You're welcome.